a little cheat sheet for you, a little, uh, you know, not even cheat sheet, but just a little hack for you guys. If you're like building a custom header, absolutely freaks me out guys. All you have to do is go to, uh, definitely do step one where you build your menus, but you can go here to rows. You can go down here to pre-built rows. And then here under header, there are all these header options for you. So you can just buck the whole system and use these pre-built headers and you'll have a header that looks great and it will already be configured for mobile and all of that. So um, feel free to use those. I just wanted to show you a way that you can do it custom and configure all your options so that you have all the tools that you need to make the header that you want. But if all of it freaks you out, there are pre-built headers for you, all right? We are going over website headers. The number one question we get asked is, how do I make my website header? How do I make it responsive? I don't understand how to do it. So we're gonna just go over this now as a class, <laughs> and we're gonna go over uh, how you can actually build your website header so that you can have a beautiful menu in your website. So I'm gonna use, um, Brittany has, you know, the hipstermommy.com, um, and we're gonna go ahead and go into her WordPress dashboard and make our header. So the first step that you need to actually make a header though is you need a menu. Some of you guys are jumping right into, you know, like, hey, I need to make my website header, but you don't even have a menu yet. So first we're gonna cover that, okay. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is stop sharing this screen. I'm gonna share a new screen. We are here in the weeknight website dashboard. Uh, what we're gonna do is first you're gonna go over to appearance and then you're gonna go to menus and first we're gonna create our menu. Okay, so right now she has something that says main menu. If you don't have a menu set up yet, what you're gonna do is create a new menu. So let's do that now. We'll call this uh, header nav short for navigation and we're going to go ahead and hit create menu okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my pages from the, here on the left you can hit pages as part of your top menu you can do your posts you can also do custom links if you want so let's say that you have a page that's somewhere else on the internet but you want to make sure that people get to it right from the top of your website, you can go ahead and, you know, if it's facebook.com slash whatever, you put the link in here and then the text that you want to appear in that menu here below, right? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do, let's see, she has her about page, maybe she wants her contact page, definitely the download library and then our home page. I'm gonna add all of those to menu and the cool thing is you can do all of that at once. And then you can kind of drag these around um, in the order that you want, right? So you can click and drag and then beautiful. I'm going to hit save. There are some options here where it says top bar menu, header menu, but you can just ignore that for now because we're not doing it the default way. We're going to do our own custom menu. So don't worry about that or a custom header. So don't worry about these options here. We're just going to set this. And as soon as we hit save, boom, we are there. Okay. Next, we're gonna go to the builder, and then we're gonna go to themer layouts, okay? So this is step two. So builder and themer layouts. Okay, and so, you know, she already has here, she has header, entire site. Um, so I'm gonna do, you know, because she's already kind of done that, I'm gonna change that to draft mode so that we can kind of play around here a little bit. Okay, add new. Themer layouts, and I am gonna go in here and do, we'll call this header, I'm gonna call this main header, and then it's a themer layout, and then we're gonna do this as layout type is header, okay? Add themer layout, beautiful. Okay, now, there's a couple of options before we jump into the builder, which you guys are very, I'm sure, excited to do at this point. 
um, but there's a couple options that we have to configure. So sticky means that as the person scrolls down the page, does the menu stick to the top? If the menu sticks to the top, that means it's a sticky header. That's why it's called sticky. So I'm gonna say yes, we want that. The next option is, do you want it to shrink? So as the user scrolls, if it sticks to the top, does it kind of shrink up a little bit? I'm gonna hit yes, because I think it's a cool effect. And then overlay, this is gonna mean that does it appear above the content? So the content that's like at the top of the page, does it kind of come up under the menu or does it appear below it, right? And so I'm gonna hit yes, and I'm gonna make this transparent. Now this means if your header has a background color, at first, it's not gonna show until the user scrolls. So know that everything that we do on this next page, the background's gonna be transparent until the user scrolls, okay? So that's what this means here. Um, so I'm going to choose now the location is gonna be the entire site. Now know, if you want, you can have different headers for different pages. So if you're like, hey, actually, you know, on our blog, we want a different header, you can actually make it so that all singular and all archives have, you know, a different uh, header. You can make it so certain pages have a different header, all of that. So if you wanted to, you can do that, but I'm gonna do entire site, most of what you are gonna want entire site. I'm gonna hit publish first, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch our builder. And now is the part that you guys kinda know a little bit more about, which makes it easier for you. So. So we have our, our homepage in the builder. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I want to edit our menu, our header menu. So we're gonna go into Weeknet Website Builder. Okay, and then it brings me up these, uh, this default that it brings me into is you know, kind of this like really plain blue layout with some uh, links and uh, navigation here and here, right? So what we wanna do is first, we want to change our menu to our new menu that we've created. So for some of you guys, if it's the first menu that you've created on your site, it'll automatically populate here, so you don't have to do anything. For some of you, um, you're going to have to set it to be your new menu. Um, and then sub menu, this means like if you had extra links that appeared kind of underneath these guys, um, what the icon would be. The layout here is horizontal, but if you had some other sort of, uh, you know, layout that you wanted, like vertical, anything like that, then you can do that there. Now, something to mention is you guys might have noticed there's a new popularity of what we call flyout menus on websites. So this means that the menu just always appears as like a little hamburger or something. And then um, when you open it up, you get the entire menu. If you guys wanted to do that, what you're gonna do is um, here under responsive. So this means how does the menu appear when the, um, how does the menu appear when it's on, it's scaled for different devices? So like on a mobile device, how does the menu appear, right? So if you want to do that, instead of making the breakpoint small devices only, you're gonna make it always. And that's all you have to do. And then look, it's a little hamburger icon. <laughs> um, there you go. You can also make it a menu button. So it'll say menu. That's pretty intuitive for your users, which is great or you can do both hamburger icon and label so that it says menu, super easy for people to find, right? Responsive thought, uh, style, then what you wanna do is make out a flyout push, and then the position will say, okay, is it coming from the left or from the right? So I'm gonna make it from the right. I think that's a little easier for people. Um, let's see what that looks like just as is. So if I were to click on that, boom, there we go that is where our links would appear. Okay, so let's say, you know, that's not really my thing. I don't really want this, uh, you know, I want that to appear, yes, but maybe only on small devices. That's totally fine. If you want a normal menu where you have these links up top, what you're gonna do is just keep it so that those are horizontal. And then you can use the options here, just like with everywhere else on the site, to configure 
your different, um, you know, like the link background colors, the colors, even the fonts that you use in your menu. You can use all of this to do that. And then something else that you're gonna do is if you want a specific uh, color for the background, now remember, because we made it so that it's transparent at the beginning, um, it's not, this color isn't gonna show until the user scrolls. So maybe I wanna make this black when the user scrolls. And then maybe I actually want these social media icons, you know, instead of being up top here, and maybe I don't want my phone number, or my email up top, I can delete that. And then I can add, you can actually go ahead and just add more rows. And maybe you want the social media section to appear here on the right. And maybe you actually just want this whole thing to be a little bigger, boom. And then we can get rid of this top row and just make it nice and sleek and easy peasy there. Okay, so now that is done in that view, let's hit the R key and check it in our, uh, we'll check it in our iPad view. And so I'm gonna make sure that my background color is something readable here. Okay, beautiful. And it looks like my links don't look as cute on, uh, on iPad view, so I'm gonna make the, the hamburger menu here. And I'm gonna make this white. Boom, okay, now I can actually see it. Helpful, very helpful. Um, and then maybe I want to rearrange the way that these come up. And then on a phone view, that doesn't look so exciting. So I actually wanna go back on what I just did. Where's my link color? Okay, hit R key, boom, easy to see. And there again, it's easy to see. Now, what I'm gonna do is on mobile view, I'm going to adjust the width of my columns that hold these things so that I can kind of space it so everything's on one row. Um, something you can also do, guys, if you wanted to, is if you go to column settings, advanced, and under stacking order, you hit reversed that's gonna make everything stack in reverse order so that these actually appear on top. Pretty cool, huh? And then next is actually gonna be this section and I'm gonna make this 10% and then I'm gonna set this guy, this column, to be 90%. And I'm going to make this column to be 100%. So it's very clear, like these guys are showing up here. This guy, sometimes I have to make things like not exactly. It's being a little finicky here. Let's see here. You got to kind of zhuzh it around a little bit. Sometimes I have to boss it around to tell it what I want it to do. Okay, and this logo, I'm gonna make this left aligned. And remember the alignment is only gonna show, um, things like alignment are only gonna show in the mobile view. So anywhere that you see this little icon change, that means that this whole section is gonna be, you can do different options for this whole section. If you guys, PS, if you guys are like, oh my gosh, I can't see anything at the same time when I'm doing uh, when I'm editing my menu in the responsive view, like if I open this up, I can't see it. You can actually move the editor. So what I like to do is um, when I'm here in the desktop view, what I'll do is I'll click on this and then I'm like, you know what, you have to head, you can kind of drag this guy over to the right. And then if you hit the R key, it'll stay over there on the right. So you can actually see the editor <laughs> while you're editing, which is very, very helpful. And you can move, toggle this around as well. So if I'm like, okay, cool. I want to change this heading 
font size here. You can actually see this, the options while you're doing it. And so you can use the slider and boom. I can adjust that. I can adjust the top margin to definitely be that zero. And this is looking pretty good to me. I think I accidentally just changed the Boom. And let's see what else here. I want to make this this aligned, center aligned here in mobile. And that's looking pretty good. All right. I'm feeling really good about this menu. So I'm hitting publish. And as you can see, I kind of have to zhuzh it around a little bit. Okay. So don't be afraid to kind of play around. It's very hard to mess it up completely. And so, okay, now I'm showing you now, this is what it looks like when you set the, the overlay to transparent. If you guys have a big old banner at the very top and that's like the main thing you have on top of your site, like let's check out what her posts look like here. Cause this might look great on a post, but maybe on the homepage. Yeah, so like for Brittany's site here, it doesn't really make sense to do the transparent overlay like this because she doesn't have these like banners up top where you can actually see what's going on, right? Um, for a lot of you guys, you do, you open your site and on every single page you have a big old banner up top. So if that's the case, a transparent overlay will look great. But if not, like here on Brittany's site, this doesn't make sense. So let's go back into the weeknight website builder and you'll actually see now that main header is one of our options here because it's applied to this layout. Um, I'm going to go over to my dashboard and I'm going to go to builder, themer layouts, and then I'm going to go to edit. And then instead of transparent, I'm going to hit default on that background. And for overlay, I'm actually going to do no because the overlay, remember, means that it's going to put the content, it's going to start right at the top and the header is going to go over that. And honestly, for Brittany's site, it doesn't make sense um, because it's going to cut off some things. So I'm going to hit update on this and then I'm going to go back to the hipstermommy.com and see what this looks like. Boom. Now I have my black header here right up top like that. Now, remember that you can adjust the margins on these things so that all of this aligns. Um, you can also do this, where you make the columns, just make sure that they are the same height. So we're here under, you're gonna edit the actual column, like that, column settings, and then under equalize heights, you're gonna hit yes, and then vertical alignment, you wanna do center. Very, very handy. I use this all the time. <laughs> I center align things all the time. All right, and there you go. Now these are nice and centered, which is lovely if you're kind of OCD about that stuff. It's like, okay, perfect. Everything is centered. All right, boom. There we go. And as you can see, it shrinks with the content. Looks great. So that is how you are going to make your menu, guys. Just as a little recap here, first you're going to make your menu. Second, you're gonna make a header in the builder and under themer layouts. So you're gonna go in your dashboard, go to builder, themer layouts. And then next, to make it mobile. So you wanna make sure that it's responsive, make sure that you are configuring all the options so that you get it how you want it in mobile. And if you wanna learn more, always read our latest blog. Awesome. Okay, so. Something um, that I wanted to mention here is that building your header, not even your footer, just your header, is one of the hardest things that you will do. It always is. It does not change. Any platform that you use, 
your header is pretty much <laughs> one of the hardest parts because you do have to think about it. It's so important from a user perspective and it's going to show on every page and you have to make sure, okay, does it work on every page? You know, do I need to do a different header for different pages or different page layouts? So like a different header for the blog versus another page. So guys it is always challenging, but you have got this. If you just follow the steps and you're patient and you judge things around a little bit, you work with your column widths and you know, all of that, then you will have a beautiful header that is mobile responsive.